REU stands for Research Experience for Undergraduates. And um, in this program, what we're doing is taking undergraduate students and placing them into research labs and giving them research experience for the summer. We take them bowling because it's just a great icebreaker kind of activity. Hi, my name's Lucas. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio originally, but I'm going to school in Salem, Oregon. I expect to learn, learn a lot, sort of get my feet wet in uh, heavy biochemistry and a mod spectroscopy and uh, see if that's the direction I want to go with my life. You do it. You did, you did. You do it. My name's Ben Manning. I'm from Chanhassen, Minnesota. I go to school in Northfield, Minnesota at St. Olaf College. I'm not sure exactly what direction I want to go into and that's why in part I am here. happy that I decided to come here to Montana State University here in Bozeman. Don't worry about it. Nobody really cares if your ball goes in the gutter time after time or if you roll a strike time after time. It really doesn't change the interaction of them getting to know each other. So it's not like um, anybody really wins or loses in any sort of important way. Through that social event, you can watch them begin to form a cohesive group and begin to realize that this is going to be a good group to be a part of for their summer. I said, like, this given the professor was a professor, so just like... <laughs> <laughs> Pearl Harbor was an excellent movie thing. <laughs> REU stands for a Research Experience for Undergraduates. Um, it's funded by the National Science Foundation. Basically, it's a way for undergraduates to have real research experience so that they gain knowledge about what the field actually is, and they gain knowledge about how to do research themselves, and they add to the broad field of science. One of the themes that's often heard about Montana State University is mountains and mines. And we expect them when they're here to get a lot out of their environment. They hike a lot, they play a lot, but they also work very, very hard while they're here. They do two PowerPoint presentations throughout the summer. Uh, Kingdom Crane Archaeota and the virus is one of five that affects these type of archaea and um, the viral family is Fusiloviridae. Of the surface is very important. Uh, QSense, the D300 that I showed you earlier, pretty much takes care of temperature as long as you are careful to equilibrate your sample before adding it to the chip. Basically, I've been working with three proteins, the good, the bad, and the sticky. By the end of the summer, I hope that the protein that I started crystallization optimization trials on, I'll have a nice big protein crystal and I will have started looking at the x-ray picture of it and tried to figure out the structure of it. I also need to tell you about uh, biofilms. You can uh, see a biofilm forming while in the flask where there was no phage introduced, uh, no biofilm formed. There are two main types, one being residue, which is longer lasting and uh, you can use it against a bacteria, kill the bacteria and still have the antibacterial function on the surface. This area over here is basically where we do most of the microbiology related things that we do because a lot of the stuff we're working on are proteins that are within cells. In order to get those cells, you have to grow them. So it's proposed that NO could form 
um, an S nitro so hemoglobin. If we have it in aerobic environments, we it actually, as we'll see in the next slide, it's a cycle. So it brings us right back to the active state. These are the different bacteria cultures. This is one of five that I have right now. Um, they're in BL21 cells, which um, are cells that are typically used to express large amounts of protein. In mid-July, we took a trip to Salish Kootenai College so that we could participate in a science group meeting with the SKC cohort in person on their campus. I think it's important for everybody to experience um, each of the labs that all the students are working in. And so all of the students here have been in each other's labs and I wanted them to go and be able to see the lab that Josh and Caleb are working in.